Hi, I am Dr. Srinivas Murthy TM, an ENT consultant practicing at Columbia Asia Referral Hospital, Eshwantpur, and Srinivas Specialty ENT Center are located at Eshwantpur. Eustachian uh, tube is a tube which connects your nose with your ear. It's also called as the auditory tube or the ventilatory tube. It uh, allows air from the nose to get into the middle ear and ventilates the middle ear so that um, there is a similar pressure across the eardrum. That means uh, on the outer part of the eardrum as well as the inner part of the eardrum, the air pressure is maintained at the same level so that sound uh, can pass through the eardrum into the inner ear without any impedance or a blockage. Now, eustachian tube dysfunction can occur for various reasons. The commonest being recurrent cold sinusitis, uh, a tumor pressing on the eustachian tube, or in some people we just cannot make out why it happens, uh, the eustachian tube just one fine day decides that I will not function anymore. So when the eustachian tube doesn't function properly, it uh, slowly creates a negative pressure in the middle ear because uh, the air is not passing and whatever air is remaining in the middle ear gets absorbed. So there it creates a vacuum and then it leads to sort of uh, negative pressure. This will pull the eardrum inside. It will also lead to some amount of fluid accumulation in the middle ear. Now everything doesn't happen at the same time. It is a, a process in continuum. That means at various stages of the disease you will see various things. In uh, early stages we may see only a slight retraction of the eardrum. Sometimes we may see air bubbles, sometimes we may see fluid. Sometimes we never see air bubbles or fluid but the retraction just tends to be like that and it doesn't open up on trying to pop the nose. And one of the symptoms with which patient can come to us is a tinnitus. But what uh, people need to be aware of is uh, tinnitus is produced not only because of this but because of various other reasons, some of which can be recognized by uh, tests and uh, clinical examination and some of which we may never be able to identify. But um, if the patient has presented to us with um, symptoms of uh, say an upper respiratory tract infection or a cold or a sinusitis uh, followed by ear blockage, uh, noise in the ear and uh, um, everything else settles down with medication but the tinnitus has not settled down uh, despite medicines for about three or four weeks, then um, I would be uh, confident to say that you introduce a grommet um, and then that may uh, reduce the tinnitus or it may even help the tinnitus um, vanish. Now the premise for such a recommendation is uh, the moment we keep a grommet, the grommet will act like an artificial ventilation tube. The grommet will allow the air pressure across the eardrum to be maintained. So that's how uh, a decision is made. But uh, since tinnitus can be uh, because of many other reasons, there is no guarantee that uh, all types of tinnitus can be uh, treated with grommets.